we'll now look at predicates. So in order to do this, we'll start with a statement. X is greater than four. And there are two parts of any statement like this. X is known as the subject, and is greater than four is known as the predicate. So now we're gonna refine this in terms of logic. We know that X is greater than four is not a proposition because it could be both true and false. However, the idea is we want to make this into a proposition. So we're gonna denote this statement by P of X. So when we say P of X, what we really mean is X is greater than four. And in order to make this a proposition, we just need to assign a value. In particular, we need to assign a value for x. So we'll do a few examples to kind of see how this works. So our predicate, p of x, is given by x is greater than 4, and we want to know the truth value of p of 7. So p of 7 says 7 is greater than 4, which is true. So this is now a proposition, since it is definitely true. Another one, p of negative 3. This one says negative 3 is greater than 4, which is false, but it is still a proposition. It's just a false proposition. One more, what's the truth value of p of 4? Well, this says 4 is greater than 4, which is not true. So this is also false. Predicates can have more than one variable. In this case, q of x, y means that x is equal to y minus 2. So if I want to know what q of 4, 6 is, this would say x is 4 and y is 6. And I can see that 4 is equal to 6 minus 2, so this is a true statement. Another one, q of 3, 1. This says 3 is equal to 1 minus 2, which is false. And the order here is very important. x comes first in the definition, so x should come first whenever we assign values. We'll also do an example with three variables, r of x, y, z, where x, y is equal to z. So 1, 2, 3 says 1 times 2 is equal to 3, which is false. Our last example, r of 2, 3, 6. This time x is 2, y is 3, and z is 6. So we get 6 equal to 6, which is true.